dream big and, and never give up on your dreams. My legacy, I hope, will be that a lot of other people have their dreams come true. In the beginning, I didn't have too much time to spend for salespeople. If you do good work, people will ask you to do more. This person asked me if I would uh, consider building a, a machining operation. No one ever asked me to do such an exciting thing. But there was another little voice inside pointing to my heart that said, do it in Lincoln, do it in Lincoln, because all my support was here in Lincoln. He said, okay, let's go. So that's when I went out and found property and I found this little metal building between the railroad tracks started buying my first machines that I needed to do the work, and that's how I got started. My first memory of the shop is walking through the, the shop with my dad, looking at the machines, talking to the employees, having him explain to me all of the different functions of the shop. It was a magical place for me when I was a kid. TMCO stands for Total Manufacturing Company. We're a one-stop concept to completion manufacturing shop, and we specialize in metal manufacturing from the design all the way to the finished product. Because we have so many processes that we do in-house, we don't have to send out processes to third parties. We have precision machining. We have sheet metal fabrication, tube fabrication, water jet. We have welding, uh, powder coating, and liquid paint application, and we have final assembly. Our delivery on time is a 99.97%. So we are all the time one week ahead of schedule. And uh, the, the reason for that, because we control everything here from A to Z. And uh, most of the part, we get it here like laser cut or punch and weld it and finish it. Then we give it to the customer. The growth of TMCO began with finding new customers and then buying machines to do the work becoming a little bit successful and having some money to buy new machines, I could buy new technology and then go look for customers to put that technology to work to serve my customers. The future of TMCO is in the continued investment of new technologies. You have to stay ahead of the tech curve in order to be competitive. It's also addressing the shortage of skilled workers that we have across the nation. Now, using that technology to offset um, that shortage and also continued investment in people. This machine can separate the part from the skeleton and can load it on the pallet. Then they can, the system will take it and put it in the, in, the, in the system, in the tower system. They will be able to track them later to see what the quantity they are, what the part number are these. And that's all done without any operator. So all the operator does just load the program in the machine and run the machine and everything will be done uh, automatic. You can see the laser cut in the part right now. It's put in the, the part number and giving the part number. And you see those, the thing come with a small suction cup. So the small part, it will go shoot under the machine. The big part, it will, you can see later, the, the suction cup will suck those parts and take it and load it in the other side there. It can tell you how many hours left for this job, eight hours and four minutes. We serve a number of different sectors and industries and that diversity really makes us a jack of all trades. We're fortunate to have a lot of technological resources going into the future. Automation, robotics is really important as well as the supporting software. So on the old system, you'll be able to run 10 hours, but you have to have operator coming up here, load and unload the machine. But on the new system, without any labor, you'll be able to run 24 seven. TMCO usually upgrade the machine every seven or eight years, because if you don't upgrade it, you will never be competitive and also you will be stay away from the technology. So technologies will help us to become a better company so we can help and serve our customer in the best uh, way. My father came over here as an immigrant. I have a soft spot for people who come here from a different country looking to find their American dream come true. It's really inspired me to uh, hire refugee employees. My first refugee was a Vietnamese person and uh, he lost his job and somebody sent him down here. I said, when can you start work? And like this was on a Friday and he started on Monday. That guy worked for well over 35 years. We're really empowering employees to go beyond just making stuff. By giving back, 
um, in allowing employees to volunteer, to go out to the schools, to mentor kids, to teach about manufacturing. They're really building their community. Some of the JA students, when they come here, they want to come to work here at an early age. Majority of these kids are between the fourth and sixth grade. So it's a really a way to bring the real world into their life and give them some idea and they can see the different types of opportunities. And I've had well over a thousand JA students. Uh, there comes a time when you have to give back to the community that you were so fortunate to grow up in. When you see things in the city that we've donated or made, it really connects TMCO to our local community. It, it's, it's a wonderful thing for all businesses to do. When employees look at these projects and they're on the community and they see things that they've, they've made, you know, they can tell the person they're with, I made this, I welded it, I painted it. And that really creates a sense of connection between the company and the community, but also with the individual employees. What Metal and Art is, is we help local architects or real estate developments or even somebody from their home bring a concept from either a rendering that they're working on on a computer or even a napkin scratch and bring it into reality. We do lots of um, artistic fences, benches, maybe a trash can for a, a local development that they've got a theme that they've already got. We have really good visualization skills. So we can see it from a rendering and then make it into something that's manufacturable. And we have so many capabilities at TMCO that we can, honestly, we don't have to outsource any one thing we do because we can take it from machine A to machine B, we can powder coat it here, uh, we can put chrome finishes on things very easily, so I think that's something that makes us unique is just the vast majority of the, everything that we can do under one roof is that here right at TNCO. It's the most difficult thing to do is to turn your business over to the next generation. It's the most satisfying thought to, to give your lifetime of work and keep it in the family. It's really difficult to walk into any successful enterprise and not feel overwhelmed and feel that, that burden of responsibility. You have to be fortunate, I think, to be next to somebody who has done it. You can use as a mentor the model the way uh, and help you along that process. We, we try, to, try to be a big family to everybody. And I think for the most part, it's worked out really very well. When you come here, we hope that you always want to stay here. And we have to do our part to help make sure that they see themselves as part of this family. We have a great team here. It's a privilege to work with so many knowledgeable people who've been in the industry for years. But you can't walk into TMCO and just not see the future of manufacturing and the opportunities that come with it for, for growth and future expansion. Thank you.